Dogs might be man's best friend, but just a hundred years ago, your prize pooch probably looked totally different. Don't believe me? Stay tuned to find out how human influence and selective breeding has drastically altered some of the world's most popular dog breeds. Boxer This loyal breed is a descendant of the now extinct German Bullenbeiser, which was a mix of Mastiff, Bulldog, and possibly even Great Dane or Terrier. Earliest boxers were initially used for bull baiting until the practice became illegal in 1835 when they became butcher's helpers by controlling cattle and slaughterhouses. The modern boxer was also developed as an attempt to revive the bull and visor when dog shows became popular in the 1800s as people favored its distinct features. As you can see here, early boxers had pointed ears and longer snouts compared to the shorter face, more upturned muzzle and floppier ears we're familiar with today. One possible explanation is known as domestication syndrome, which refers to the way dogs have lost their wolf-like primal features like pointed ears and elongated snout simply through lack of necessity in domestic environments. Unfortunately, this shortened snout is also the cause of some serious breathing problems, which means the boxer is prone to overheating, limiting its physical capabilities. This comparison also highlights a trend of cropping boxer's ears to remain pointed, which was wrongly thought to prevent risk of infection and is now illegal in many European countries. The Bull Terrier The Bull Terrier isn't the most conventionally attractive breed, but once upon a time, this stocky dog looked almost unrecognizable. The Bull Terrier was first created in the 1800s as a mix of the English Terrier and the Bulldog, and was described by the American Kennel Club in 1885 as the embodiment of agility, grace, elegance, and determination. Sound anything like the dog we know today? Check out this shocking comparison. At best, the dog on the left looks like a very distant cousin of the one pictured on the right. The Bull Terrier originally had a slim, curved body and a chiseled nose, and it stayed that way until dogfighting became more popular and they were selectively bred to become stockier and more flat-headed for combat. Years of genetic alteration has now created an almost football-shaped head, which can sometimes cause serious health problems due to having too many teeth inside their enlarged jaws. If that wasn't bad enough, this breed also typically suffers from mental deficiencies such as a tendency to compulsively chase their own tails. Dachshund Better known as the sausage dog or weenie dog due to their elongated bodies, this breed can be traced back to 15th century Germany where they were first created to sniff out badgers and other burrow dwelling animals with their short legged build. This photograph shows just how different the Dachshund looked in 1915 with legs and a neck which were more proportionate to their overall size compared to the deliberately stunted legs of today's Dachshunds. As their population dwindled during World War I, they were also bred with dogs imported to the USA and as a result their chest became more jutted and their backs more flattened setting a new standard for generally lower abdomens. Despite making them more attractive to buyers, this compact build also put the Dachshund at risk of invertebral disc disease, which can sometimes lead to paralysis. Basset Hound The Basset Hound is one of the most recognizable breeds for its droopy eyes and long ears, but these features didn't occur as naturally as you might think. The breed is a direct descendant of the Bloodhound and was first used for fox hunting due to its adept sense of smell and short legs. But after being presented at a Paris dog show in 1863, there was a shift to focus more on its appearance. As you can see here, early Basset Hounds once stood proud and alert, but through selective breeding, their legs gradually became more curved and stunted possibly as a result of an extra copy of a specific gene producing growth protein. By identifying droopy eyes and long ears as the breed's winning features and choosing to enhance them, the modern Basset Hound is now also prone to a whole slew of new problems, including ear infections and dermatitis in excess skin folds. Saluki The Saluki is a refined breed known for its elegance and speed, and research suggests it might be one of the oldest domesticated dogs known to man. Originating in the Middle East, legend has it Egyptian pharaohs hunted gazelles and hares with Salukis in tandem with falcons, and archaeologists have even uncovered mummified Salukis in ancient tombs. The breed was officially recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1929, and as seen here, they have always been slender dogs with a distinctly long-haired tail, 
As dog show standards began to demand more pronounced features among breeds, the Saluki was selectively bred to have even taller legs and long, luxurious ears compared to earlier depictions showing a more proportionate length. Thankfully, the Saluki hasn't suffered too much as a result of human intervention, but they are predisposed to certain eye problems like progressive retinal atrophy. Saint Bernard The gentle yet strong Saint Bernard has adventurous origins. After being founded in 980 AD by Saint Bernard de Menthon, they were first bred by monks by crossing the ancient Tibetan Mastiff with the Great Dane. Saint Bernards were originally used by the Hospice, a refuge for travelers through the dangerous Alpine Pass between Switzerland and Italy, and worked as rescue dogs during avalanches. As they traded in their working days for top spots and pedigree dog shows, the early Saint Bernard, pictured here in 1915 with a short coat and long snout, was replaced by a more popular long-haired variety with a short upturned muzzle. As a result, this popular breed is now a mere shadow of the dog it once was. With a broader skull and a steeper angle between the nose and forehead, the modern Saint Bernard is prone to various problems including a tropian, a folding outward of the eyelid rim. West Highland Terrier The modern Westie is an incredibly popular family dog but their original purpose was very different. The West Highland was originally accidentally bred from the Cairn Terrier in Scotland in the mid 19th century and was selected to help control the population of rats, fox, badger, otter, and other vermin. Pictured here in 1910, the Westie was favored for its bullet-shaped sturdy body and alert tail strong enough to be pulled out of tight underground holes. After years of selective breeding and domestication, today's Westie isn't nearly as athletic as these early ancestors, and its skill set has been largely diminished. Comparisons show how their coat has been enhanced to dwarf the face, while the legs have been deliberately stunted, making them at least an inch or two shorter. This makes them prone to a condition called luxating patella, where the kneecaps pop out of normal position. Nowadays, you'll probably find the Westie modeling for brands like Juicy Couture rather than rat exterminating. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Named after King Charles II, this breed is descended from the former King Charles Spaniel, which was a favorite of the late king and appeared in many contemporary paintings. In the late 1600s, this popular dog, with long ears and defined snout, was interbred with the pug, which produced a smaller variation with flatter noses, upturned faces, rounder heads, and more protruding eyes. This new Cavalier King Charles Spaniel became so popular that by the 1920s an American named Roswell Eldridge offered prize money during a London Crufts dog show to anyone exhibiting King Charles Spaniels with long noses. This was an attempt to find dogs which resembled those depicted in Van Dyke's paintings of young Charles II and his Spaniels. Due to a drop in population during World War II, today's Cavalier King Charles Spaniels have been heavily inbred and now suffer from a multitude of health problems. The most threatening is known as syringomyelia, which occurs because their brains are too large for their shrinking skulls. Chow Chow Although their exact origin is unknown, the Chow Chow is thought to date back to ancient China due to similar likenesses being found in Chinese pottery as far back as 206 BC. Experts believe these dogs serve many working purposes for the nobility, including hunting, herding, and pulling sleighs. The Chow Chow arrived in England and America at the end of the 1700s, and early depictions show them as a medium-sized dog with a long curled tail and slightly shaggy coat. As chows became more fashionable, selective breeding enhanced their coat to become heavier with an almost mane-like trim surrounding the face. By 1895, the standard for dog shows was based on this chow chow, which was already a far cry from its early ancestors. More modern chow chow varieties have even since been bred with a massive excess skin rather than just fur, especially surrounding the face. Their incredibly deep-set eyes now mean that this breed has a reduced peripheral vision alongside various genetic eye disorders. Poodles Poodles are often thought of as the ultimate accessory dog, but their origins are very different. The American Kennel Club attributes the earliest poodles, depicted here in an almost unrecognizable fashion, to 17th century Germany. The poodle was originally considered a water retriever, meaning they were excellent duck hunters, mostly because their dense coat is moisture resistant. Although the standard poodle commonly had a long corded coat like the one pictured here, 
owners likely started breeding and shaving poodles to make it easier for them to move in water, leaving fur around the ankles for warmth and to protect joints from rheumatism. During the reign of King Louis XVI in the 18th century, imported poodles were also extravagantly trimmed to match the coifs of the French nobility, and the trend continued in America and the UK as the standard poodle made its way to dog shows. It's hard to envision today's flashy poodles as the working dogs they once were. English Bulldog This robust breed originated in the British Isles and was named because of its use in bull baiting, as their short build made them a good match for full-grown bulls. Even in early artistic depictions like these, the bulldog was already a stocky and muscular dog. But after bull baiting was banned in the 19th century, more effort was made to enhance its distinct appearance. Experts suggest the original bulldog was eventually crossed with a pug, which gradually made them broader and shorter with more pronounced jowls. Through years of conscious breeding, today's bulldog is a mere caricature of its former self. And this comparison from 1915 to now shows how they have accumulated more muscle mass alongside shorter legs and excess skin. The English Bulldog is also now sadly considered one of the unhealthiest breeds with an average lifespan of just 6.25 years, mostly due to life-threatening ailments causing cardiac arrest and even cancers. German Shepherd The German Shepherd is one of the world's most common breeds, but subtle changes over time have distorted it from what it once was. After originating in Germany in the 1800s as efficient sheep herders, the breed, famed for its obedient nature and intelligence, was later welcomed in America and the UK and was first recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1908. The standard German Shepherd, like the one pictured here in 1915, was considered a medium-sized dog weighing around 55 pounds with a deep chest, straight back, and strong legs. Today, the typical German Shepherd is some 30 pounds heavier, weighing around 85 pounds, with a barrel chest and a worryingly sloped back. Experts suggest this feature was wrongly introduced by governing breed authorities as a standard in dog shows and soon became the norm. This, combined with significantly less physical exercise within a domesticated setting, is now cause for concern as their permanently angular stance can often lead to hip dysplasia, meaning the leg bones don't fit properly into the hip socket. Pug The pug is one of the most instantly recognizable dogs around, and it might be one of the oldest too. Researchers speculate that the pug originated before 400 BC, descending either from the Asian short-haired Pekingese or as another crossbreed. Early depictions in art like this 1745 portrait by William Hogarth barely resembles the dog we know today, and plenty of royal figures including Queen Victoria also owned pugs as they increased in popularity throughout Europe in the 19th century. Although originally much taller with more pronounced facial features, the traditional pug began to change after the American Kennel Club officially recognized the breed in 1885. Show breeders selected distinctive traits like the naturally curled tail and shortened snout, possibly enhanced through gradual domestication, and began augmenting these through selective breeding. By 1915, the standard pug already had a recognizably flatter face, and this soon became the norm. Nowadays, the pug's characteristic features are also the cause of several health issues, including hampered breathing, overheating, and even potential paralysis thanks to their deliberately double-curled tails. Which of these changes shocked you the most, and do you prefer the way any of these breeds used to look? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching.